Hi, my name is Mia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the very last update video of our time here in Germany. Today is Monday, December 19th and that means that today is Julio's graduation from Airman Leadership School, which is the whole reason we've been here for a little over a month now. And yeah, we're flying out early in the morning tomorrow. Um, yeah, I figured I'd just give you a little summary of this last week um, and yeah, take you along until we're back home in Spain again. So yeah, again, uh, since last video you saw that it was snowing um, and the snow has actually stuck around until today. I think it's gonna melt though because it's not gonna be um, below freezing anymore, but uh, I've really been enjoying the snow, the cold, I love the fresh air. Other than that, we've gotten news from home, from Spain, um, in Rota, where we live, there was a tornado um, this past week. And we've seen some pretty horrific pictures from it. Um, like, tons of trees fallen down, entire fences just torn off, and like, um, yeah, cars flipped and stuff like that. Um, so we are not quite sure what to expect. It's also been raining a ton and that has happened last year too. And some houses got flooded and we have obviously not been to our house in over a month. So uh, we're kind of just crossing our fingers and hoping that everything is okay. Um, we think our house is fine because our neighbors said that, um, yeah, there wasn't any like outside damage and um, also we think our car is fine <laughs> because we parked it right in front of Julio's work and um, yeah his colleagues know what our car looks like and I'm sure they would have said something if it was like flipped over or <laughs> damaged in any way so yeah fingers crossed um, yeah we did put our plants outside um, and with all that wind I, uh, I have kind of given up on those <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what expects us. Um, the last concern is always roaches because Spain, uh, southern Spain is full of them. And um, yeah, from our last vacation after our one month interrail trip, we came back and we had a ton of roaches in the house, which was so disgusting. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what happens when you leave. Like, I made sure to clean everything, I sprayed for roaches, I put up little traps and whatever, but, um, yeah, you never know. Hopefully it's cold enough, though, that they have kind of disappeared for the winter. But yeah, that's kind of, um, what happened home. Other than that, here nothing much has happened. We've gone out to our favorite few restaurants here, which I figured I could mention for you just in case you're interested. So there's this really, really good German restaurant called um, Spinrede. Um, I'll write it out here for you. Um, and yeah, I mean, they don't have too much vegan um, stuff on their menu, which is typical for <laughs> German restaurants. But um, there's one thing that I really, really love, and they have had such a delicious pumpkin soup on their menu so I've kind of been getting that every time with a couple of sides of like potatoes and sauerkraut and um red cabbage so yeah it's been really really good Julio has been enjoying the entire menu <laughs> he's tried everything on it and loved every single thing so yeah if you're here in um Kaiserslautern that's a really good restaurant then we've been to a like Vietnamese restaurant twice since coming here. Um, I forgot the name right now, but again, I'll put it here for you. Um, so they had like really good ramen and really good like sushi burritos, which is so good. Um, then Benji's burritos was also a great one. Um, yeah, as it says in the name, just like Mexican burrito type um, foods and you can mix and match as you please so there's something for everyone which was cool and really tasty food and lastly uh, there's this place called Cafe Suzanne and they actually have great vegan options too it's like this really yeah cozy little cafe but um, you definitely need reservations for that because they are completely overrun every day so 
make sure to yeah make reservations for that one yeah those are pretty much our favorite restaurants since coming here and yeah we've gone for lots of walks it's actually kind of handy because um at least the base that we're on right now which is uh Vogelweh. it's near um rammstein but basically it's pretty close to the city of kaiserslautern it's only an hour walk into the city so we've done that quite a few times um and yeah now it is still the morning it's uh, about to be 9 a.m i have been packing up the last of our things um and yeah Quentin's graduation is today, like I said, which I'm so excited for later, and I'm so, so proud of him. He is gonna be a staff sergeant now, <laughs> so that's really, really cool. And yeah, I'll take you along the rest of our day and our flight home tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you later. Hello again, ready for the last update. It is now already Wednesday, which means we got home yesterday. And yeah, let me just catch you up on what has been happening. So um, as I told you guys on Monday was Funyo's graduation from Airman Leadership School. And that was a very nice ceremony. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, again, I'm just so proud of him um, for making that rank. And then we went out with his classmates to eat one last time that night. And then, uh, yeah, I unfortunately could not sleep at all the night from Monday to Tuesday because I was so scared of the flight that I was having panic attacks all night, which really wore me out. Um, yeah, the flights themselves, um, I was just kind of on anxiety medication and like anti-nausea medication. Um, because, yeah, like I said, I'm very scared of flying and I have very bad emetophobia. And of course, on the first flight, um, a little kid behind us was sick, which really triggered my phobia. And then the second flight was a bit turbulent, but um, all in all, it's still better than expected, as bad as that sounds. Um, yeah, the medication really helped for sure. And yeah, then we got home to yeah a house that was um, in pretty good shape, better than expected again, because um, yeah there was this hurricane, like I said, but it didn't damage our house, it didn't reach our house, um, it only got to like a street or two away from us, so that was nice. Um, our plans are all suffering but again better than we thought and um yeah we just kind of spend the day unpacking cleaning the whole house it is so so humid in spain that everything was like wet like our couch was wet our bed is wet a lot of things got moldy um those are all things that we expected um but it's still 
yeah, it still kind of sucks to deal with. So we've just been running um, the AC and the dehumidifiers all day, all night to try and get all that moisture out of here. Today we went to the laundromat and did all of the laundry, all the bedding, all of our clothes, everything. Um, because, yeah, like I said, it's all wet and, and like moldy and it like smells kind of bad. <laughs> so yeah, even though we had salt lamps and like other dehumidifying like salt pillows and stuff around the house, it didn't, it didn't do uh, the full job. But there were puddles of water around everything and our dehumidifiers, they hold a lot of water and we have already dumped them four times. So you can imagine how bad it is here but yeah other than that we got groceries today we um made a bunch of doctor's appointments on base and that is pretty much it that is the full update for you we have made it back to spain we're glad to be home um but yeah still working on the aftermath of being gone for a full month so yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.